Hey everybody, welcome into Trailblaze Sports, where quantitative analysis meets contrarian algorithms. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that match yesterday. That was really wild. Like, yeah, we didn't get it. I thought we were going to get it. It went to three sets, like I said, it would go three sets. But, unfortunately, Alina couldn't come through. Yeah, Maria took her out. I couldn't believe it. It was really... I was excited. I was like, oh, nice. Dude, we got into the third set. So basically, we have a minus 220 that just needs to win. So we're sitting pretty right now at a plus 315. <laughs> and we even broke her, too, just to, to start off, too. But there was just too much momentum her getting into the third set. Honestly, um, uh, Maria Sakari, she, she, I think her at a 2-1 to one set betting i think she was like a plus 550 yeah just to show you those big money lines just because everybody's like oh yeah fair right, right, right. yeah right that was like a plus 550 on set betting 550 yeah dude, that's like five thousand five hundred on a thousand dollar bet i was thinking about a lot of times i do that to where i'll like if i really feel it's a three setter but i'm not quite sure exactly who's gonna win I'll just take the, if the value's correct, like in that situation it was, like, yeah, take Alina Spitalina to win in 2-1 to one at a plus 315, and then also take Maria Sakari to win at a plus 550. So yeah, you're going to lose one of those bets if you can get into the third set, so it would take your value down from 315 to like 215, and 550 to 450. But it's still hedging your bet. It's like it's still profit either way. So a lot of times I do that when when the value is correct. So hopefully you guys are having a really good start to your weekend. Maybe you're out boating. Maybe you're at a soccer match. Wherever you are, hopefully hopefully you're enjoying yourself and the company that you're keeping. So let's go ahead and break down these games for today. Let me turn it down a little bit. I like this beat. It's tight. Don't make me start writing. I thought about doing that live streaming when I'm like writing. It's like when I'm in a writing session. <laughs> My mom was always excited about that. She's like, oh, let me see how you create your artwork or let me let, let me just come over and hang out with you while you're like writing or you're picking beats. Like that would be so much fun. <laughs> Never did that, but I usually don't really let people in on the creative process unless I'm comfortable with you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and break down these games for today. I actually have two games. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and go to this very first game. First game of the day is at 4.05 p.m. Pacific. My time. West Coast time. Um, I'm going into... The CFL again. I just feel like football today. So the Edmonton Eskimos are at the Calgary Stampeders. Now both of these teams are actually really good. They're both 4-2 and two. and so the winner will pull even with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers who are on top of the West Division at 5-2. and two. They're only a game up. Um, the Eskimos they're coming off of Beating down Toronto Argonauts, who really aren't very good anyway. So that's not really saying that much that you beat down a sorry team. But they won 26 0. Nonetheless, that's still a good defense. Um, and Calgary, they just won on the road 17 to 16 on a last second field goal. So that takes a lot of emotion out of you, a tight, close game like that. So I'm feeling that Calgary's actually going to be probably a little bit tired in this game and my main algorithm is they have a look ahead because they, they're actually playing Winnipeg next week so I wouldn't be surprised to see them let down in this game they they play this team three times in the season and so this is the very first time that they're matching up this year um and CFL has uh I mean um the Edmonton Eskimos uh, have the number one passing yardage in the CFL. So they have a really good quarterback, Trevor Harris. But the thing is, is that 
Trevor Harris hasn't beat this team. Like, he's really not very good against them. And in fact, all time, he's 0 6 and 2. <laughs> he, he, that Cal Calgary's actually the only team that Trevor Harris hasn't beaten. So he knows that. And so I hate to say that a team is due to win because there's really no such thing as due to win. <laughs> I mean, look at a roulette wheel, right? How, how many times will, will a color come up in the same color? You know, it'll come up black and let's go on a run <laughs> more than just like three or four times. So, it, you know, a lot of times it's better to play the streaks. I know it's definitely like that in baseball. Um, but in this situation, everything to me is lining, right? You have a look ahead on Calgary's side. They already had a tough game. They didn't do really that well. Uh, Edmonton is coming off of a game where they really didn't have to expend that much energy when doing a beat down. So. The public's like 87% on Calgary to win the game. Straight up. So with no spread involved. So I like, you already know, I like to go against them. And right now, over at bookmaker.eu, you can get, um, must check the lines. Right now the spread's at zero. It's even. It's just basically a, what they call that a pick em game. So you're just picking whoever's going to win the game. Uh, looking at it like that, right now the value is that Cal they have Calgary at minus 111, or minus 111. And Edmonton's minus 109. So usually the value is minus 110 when you're taking a spread or you're trying to beat a spread, whatever it is. So looking at it like that, it's like, okay, well, it's just a tad bit on Calgary, but... 83%, 87% is on them to win the game. Hmm. My projections actually have this game. Let me bring these up right here. I have like 100 windows open. <laughs> okay. Um... My projections have Edmonton 29.6 to Calgary's 20.5. So my computer says, yeah, they're a nine point favorite. <laughs> so I think we're getting really good value, excellent value. So I'm gonna advise for today that we go ahead and take the Edmonton Eskimos right now at zero spread just to win the game at a minus 109. At bookmaker okay so moving on right along to the last game um, it's actually going at the same time five minutes later it's the Seattle Mariners at Houston Astros so Seattle's 47 and 65 yeah not very good and Houston Astros are 71 and 40. Really good. So, we got 99% on Houston to win the game. <laughs> of course, right? Well, looking at the pitching matchup, we have Marco Gonzalez for Seattle. And for Houston, we have Aaron Sanchez. Now, Gonzalez is 12 and 8 with a 4.21 ERA and a 1.31 whip. 134 innings pitched with 99 strikeouts. Okay. Well, Sanchez, he's not very good. In fact, he's going to be making his first start for the Astros. Okay. So they just acquired him. He's 3-14 on the season with a 6.07 ERA. <laughs> and he's actually winless in his last 17 starts. Yeah. 
He's 0-13 with a 7.49 ERA, giving up 39 walks in 81 and two-thirds innings. Yeah. He's actually been doing decent. 2-0 with a 1.31 ERA over six appearances against the Mariners. But when I see this and I see Marco Gonzalez going uh, since June 7th, going 0-6 with a 7.79 ERA, and he's 0-3 with a 7.58 ERA against the Astros. Look, <laughs> what's the total on this game? Let's start with my projection. My projection on this game says... It's early in Saturday, guys. So, you'll have to forgive my... I'm a little bit slower today. The video's a little bit longer. Maybe for you guys, it's enjoyment. <laughs> okay, look. I have this game right now at Houston to win 3 to 2.6. Yeah. 5.6 runs. Okay, the total on this game right now at bookmaker.eu is it's at 10. And it was 10 and a half, but it's gone down to 10 right now. You're paying juice on over. It's minus 119 on over at 10. Now let's tell you it's supposed to be three or 5.2 runs. <laughs> okay, well the house obviously knows <laughs> that this is gonna go crazy over. I told, I showed you those numbers from those pitchers, and that's what uh, they're, that's what they're going by. So looking at it like that, we're gonna follow the house on this one, and we're gonna go. I'm gonna advise Houston Astros, Seattle Mariners, over 10 runs right now at a minus 119. I was hoping we could get a better price on that. The ten and a half had us at a really good value. I'm checking the adjusted lines just to make sure. Ten. Score in the first inning. Hits, runs, errors. Team score first. Alternative line. Yeah. First half lines. All we have is a ten. I mean. This game doesn't go till obviously till later, so you can kind of just wait, and maybe the value will drop down if you don't want to pay that minus one nineteen. You still can wait, and, and, and it might pop back up to ten and a half. If it does, then the value on that will be less. It'll probably be like um, minus one ten, minus one hundred five, maybe. So you can get better value if you just wait on that. Okay. So, in retrospect, we're taking the Edmonton Eskimos to win the game straight up in the CFO. And then in the MLB, we're taking the Seattle Mariners, Houston Astros over 10 runs. Hopefully, we can get that at 10 and a half and take that over to as well. I'm expecting like 14 runs, 15 runs. Yeah, don't be surprised. These pitchers are not very good. Okay, you guys. Thank you for your continued support. You already know. Um... Please like, please subscribe, please share. Um, please tell all your friends, ladies. To maybe you don't want to tell your to your boyfriends or your husbands. Well, you bet it yourself and you invest yourself, or you can make money yourself. Who, who cares about them? They're gonna be like, wait a minute. I did, listen to her talk about sports. She knows sports. She's winning money on sports. Like what? She's she's. <laughs> Yeah, she's got a magic genie over here in the Northwest in America that knows what he's doing. <laughs> you already know, guys. I'm Trail for Trailblaze Sports. I'll be here tomorrow, same time. You guys enjoy your evening for those of you outside of America. For those of you inside of America, yeah. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, Sunday. All right, then. Take care.